despite ambient temperatures in the neighborhood of 70 degrees at the pad, the super cold cryogenic fuels now stored in the huge external tank. Uh, and here we have a uh, live TV of the crew. The crew are divided into three shifts for this mission. Uh, so for this last meal before launch, they are eating either breakfast, lunch, or dinner, uh, depending on what sleep cycle they are on. Uh, this has been set up to accommodate the round-the-clock operations of the various experiment packages on board the shuttle. This is shuttle launch control at T minus three hours in holding, and we do have live TV of our crew being suited up for uh, flight today, uh, starting with uh, Mission Commander Andy Allen, who is on his uh, third space flight today. His pilot is Scott Horowitz, who is a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Air Force. Maurizio Kelly is an astronaut from the European Space Agency and a lieutenant colonel in the Italian Air Force. Standing on the left is Claude Nicolier. He is on his third flight today. He is a European Space Agency astronaut who has flown on both STS-61 and STS-46. He is a captain in the Swiss Air Force and holds a master's degree in astrophysics. Uh, again, he is standing next to and discussing the mission with payload specialist Umberto Guidoni of the Italian Space Agency. This is shuttle launch control at T minus three hours and holding, and we do have uh, live television of our flight crew on the third floor of the operations checkout building, just departing their suit up room and making their way toward the elevator. And the commander, Andy Allen, has uh, emerged from the building, followed by his pilot, Scott Horowitz and Payload Commander Franklin Chang Diaz, Mission Specialist Jeffrey Hoffman, Mission Specialist Claude Nicolier, Mauricio Kelly, and Payload Specialist Umberto Guidoni.